So this week we're looking at the Venus range. This was a brand in its own right, introduced by Luna in about 2011-12, and it was an ultra lightweight brand, uh, and it is a brand of its own, so it's lightweight emphasis. It's the Venus 586. It's about 24 feet, just over 24 feet, six berth, and it's only 1,395 kilograms. So let's have a look inside and see what it's like. So inside the Venus 586, we've got a nice, colour scheme it's not in your face it's not gary um, nice wood finish again you, you do get a sense that it is a a cheaper range which it's not really getting away from that that when back in 2012 they started just over ten thousand pounds so they were a budget van um, lose on lighting around the front area so we've only got two spotlights so i can imagine if you were full darkness you're going to need an extra lamp or something like that but for the money good seating area at the front which this makes into a door bed i've got side diner and the bunk bed so again another two there and i've actually got another two fixed bunk beds in the back corner and a separate shower and to toilet in the rear too in this kitchen area nice amount of workspace we've only got the three burner hob but do we really need any more than that and then we've got the combined grill and oven in the one there. We've got the microwave and again, plenty of storage all the way around really. Um, nice big wardrobe and as I say, we've got the, the other two bunk beds there. And again, a decent washroom for a family of six. It's not too bad a size. Uh, and again, realistically for the, for the money of these and for the, the weight of them, you are getting everything, you are, I don't know, it is a, a little bit more flimsy than some of the other makes and models. But again, if you want a six berth at a lighter weight, it's not a bad van at all. That's a lovely looking Venus, that is, Mark. It's not bad, is it? 23 foot, that. Just over. That's not short or it's long. So, uh, Venus are on the road in their own right, are we? Yeah, they're, they're built by Luna, uh, but as a, a separate brand. Uh, and it was just an ultra lightweight brand that they'd sort of brought in. And to be fair, if, if anything does happen with Luna, it would be a shame to lose that brand. It really would. My only fear with that van is, like you say, it does look a bit flimsy, and it's a family van. Um, it's going to get the proverbials kicked yeah. out of it, isn't it? Well, that was five years old, and it was still it was still going strong. To be fair, it wasn't bad. So, um, yeah, it, uh, it'd be interesting to see what that's like in ten years' time. Yeah, yeah. it's not going to wear as well, is it? Yeah, yeah. I've got a bigger one. It's not as heavy though. Well, it is as heavy, but it's not as heavy just for how big it is. Is it not as wide? Uh, no, it's it's the same width. It's, it's bigger. It's just lot well lighter for a bigger van. Let's have a look then. <laughs> you have to see. Roll. Our next video is for the Venus 626. Now this is on a twin axle, so we've got two sets of wheels. It's about two foot bigger than the last one that we saw. And believe it or not, it's only 100 kilograms heavier on the maximum weight. So 1500 kilograms maximum weight on this. Twin axles, 26 foot, 1500 kilograms. I can't even believe it myself when I'm saying it and it's written on the side. It definitely is 1500 kilograms. Uh, which is amazing. You do lose out on, you've, there's no external locker storage, so, so you get the weight down on that way. Um, but again, it, it's amazing that they've actually got the weight as low as they have. Uh, let's have a look inside and see what, what we've lost or what we've not lost. So we're inside of the Venus 626, and believe it or not, this is two years newer 
than the single axle that we looked at before but it's pretty much identical um, it's still very much the same sort of design with the cabinetry and cupboards etc i think they've probably kept the same and again that's probably helped to keep the price down is that they've run the build for a good couple of years and they've been able to use the same parts so get the parts cheaper the materials again is, is identical real good material on the upholstery and that's probably one of the hardest wearing areas that you're going to get with a family van like this we've got a couple of little extras so we've got the alcove lights in the front slightly different alarm system uh, lack of lights again but again it's it's difficult isn't it it's a it's a hard one to sort of get your price and your weight down and still want everything at the end of the day you've you've got to make sacrifices and compromises but again look at it it's it's a perfectly usable van yes this this actually does feel slightly better quality than the last one but not not a lot but again it's a cracking fixed bed nice side deck where are you going to get another six berth at 1500 kilograms